Hello, my internet friend. I am starting my data science job search in two weeks, and I was so confused about the different job categories that are within the data science job family. I did some research and here's what I found. I found about five different job categories under the data science umbrella. They include first data analyst, second product data scientist, third data scientist, fourth applied scientist and or research scientist, fifth is machine learning engineer or software development engineer machine learning. Both the skills requirement and the pay range for these five job categories are very different because the day-to-day -day job responsibilities are different even though they are all under the data science umbrella or family. Let's first look at the skill requirement for each of these five job categories. First up is data analyst. The core skills needed for a data analyst includes SQL, Python, visualization, or dashboard. It doesn't include experiment design, metrics, machine learning, or deep learning. Next up is product data scientist. Similar to a data analyst, you will also need to know SQL, you need to know Python, visualization, and dashboard. What's different between a product data scientist and a data analyst is that as a product data scientist, you will also need to know experiment design and metrics. Third is data scientist. A data scientist has all the core skills of a product data scientist that includes SQL Python, visualization slash dashboard, experiment design, and metrics. And on top of that, data scientists will also do machine learning. The fourth job category is applied scientist or a research scientist. To find a job in this category, you will need to have skills such as SQL Python. You don't need to know visualization dashboard. You do need to know experiment design, no metrics, but machine learning and now deep learning. And from what I understand, applied scientists and research scientists has strong preferences for PhD candidates because you need to keep up with the new technologies and the new papers that are coming out. The fifth and last job categories is machine learning engineer or software development engineer machine learning. The core skill here is SQL, Python, no visualization, experiment design, no metrics, machine learning, and deep learning. So pretty much exactly the same as a applied scientist, research scientist, the fourth job category. The difference between an applied scientist and a machine learning engineer is that the applied scientist focuses more on the modeling end of things versus the machine learning engineer focuses more on the coding side of things. So kind of in summary, from job category one to job category four, the requirement for your coding skills is increasing gradually. You need the least amount of coding skills as a data analyst, and you need the most coding skills as a machine learning engineer or software development engineer machine learning. So that's kind of the different job categories. As you can see, each of these job categories have their distinct skill requirement, but also there are a lot of overlaps between job category one and job category two as an example. So what that means, at least for me, is that when I look for jobs, I won't just focus on data analyst. I will look for a combination of these job categories. And I found some common job category combos that you can use to search online for job openings. The first combo is data analyst plus product data scientist plus data scientist. This is going to be the combo that I will be using to look for jobs. I primarily am shooting to be a product data scientist, but I will use data analyst and data scientist as well to kind of look for more job opportunities. The second job category combo is data scientist plus 
machine learning engineer or software development engineer machine learning. So obviously, if you have strong coding skills, this is a good target combo for you. The third job category combination is data scientist plus applied scientist or research scientist. So if you have both strong coding skills and strong machine learning skill and deep learning skill, this is the target combination you should be using. And the fourth combo is just one job category, which is the machine learning engineer slash software development engineer machine learning. Now let's talk about the pay ranges for these five different job categories. The first job category, data analyst, gets paid the least because there is the least amount of skills required for these jobs. The second job category, product data scientist, gets paid slightly higher than data analyst. And the third job category, data scientist, pays a little bit more than product data scientist. The fourth job category, applied scientist or research scientist, pays higher than data scientist. However, the fifth job category, machine learning engineer, software development engineer machine learning does not pay more than the fourth job category, applied scientist or research scientist. If two candidates with similar background, skill set, education are in these two different jobs, their job pay range is likely very similar. So from job category one to four, the pay range is gradually increasing and it kind of levels off at four. So four and five is pretty much the same. I hope this video made you a little less confused about the different job categories in data science. I will see you back here again soon. Bye.